little bit. Probably have to. Okay. Hi guys. So, um, as you know, this is my first YouTube video and we thought it'd only be right to obviously have Gavin and Henry in it also. And we thought what we'd do is instead of like a boring Q&A where we do that on the gram all the time, we will do an agony aunt session. P.S. I actually have such bad eyesight, I can't see my reflection in the iPhone. You've got, no, you've got your glasses on yeah. so you can see it, but I don't even know. Are we meant to be looking at the camera or when we like edit this, are we going to be looking elsewhere? <gasps> see, YouTube amateurs over here, so bear with, bear with. Okay, so we put a poll out um, and we basically asked if you had any dilemmas that you want our advice on. And um, we have a disclaimer, guys, because a lot of you seem to think that we are good with giving advice um, in regards to the male species. <laughs> and we're not genuinely like that is our area of least expertise like in all honesty we need to be asking yeah. you guys like for advice um so whatever we say take with a pinch of salt because honestly you have one psycho here and one semi-level headed individual who's Aww. like nice internally psycho i am internally psycho yeah see how she says that and looks yeah. straight into the camera <laughs> you just know anyway okay so let's get started but we're no way qualified for qualified this. to give any advice whatsoever <laughs> but if our advice helps you then you're welcome but you're welcome you're welcome um, but yeah we're not qualified do you know what really irritates me these bloody black socks it's such an eyesore <laughs> Like, I wanna hide the okay fine, right, let's go. Um let's start with okay. When I try getting to know someone, he just eventually ends up talking dirty. How do I avoid this? Well that's a good one to start with. Um Is that with every guy you talk to? Listen, we don't judge here. Okay, no, there's it's no judge judgment. Um Is it because you're looking for something super serious? And have you made that kind of obvious from the offset to be like, look, kind of not in it for just fun and want to actually see this through? Like, yeah. Like, have you made it taking... obvious to him that you don't want to just do like a hookup or anything? Yeah, and like this ain't no Tinder, to... yeah. you know? We're just serious here. Have that conversation. Yeah, maybe just make sure you set your intentions, like make them known yeah. uh, from the beginning. I don't know. Um, another one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. Why do I keep attracting guys who sing to me awkwardly? <laughs> I would die if he started singing to me. I'd be like, <laughs> what would you do? I just if you I tried think... to serenade you. Oh. We're good. We're good here. Um, yeah, like if I wanted someone to sing to me, I'd go on X Factor and like sit in the audience, but we're not. No. We're just not doing that. So, moving on swiftly. How do you avoid it though? You block and delete. Block and delete. Um, right, so I don't know what this word means. Got jilted in love second time. I'm 28 and Lent. totally feel in shock and hopeless. Go! You are 28, yeah. not 58. And even if you were 58, that doesn't matter. It is fine. Um, P.S. I feel like I'm doing all the talking. You're giving no contribution here. Because you keep talking. Oh, That's why you're not giving me the opportunity to speak. <laughs> Any That's why. <laughs> Anywho, I am 29. Gavin is 29. We are single. And... Um, Mate, like it's never like when it's not you're a trying, big deal. Yeah, basically. like live your life. You actually like. Luckily, Gavin and I are really on one. What is it? One side of the fence. Is that what they say? One side of the fence. I don't. I don't know what, what you're trying saying. to say. I'm really bad with the saying. But basically, we like we genuinely enjoy our present moment. So for example, we are single. We don't have those responsibilities of being in a marriage or in a relationship or having kids or, you know, kind of all those responsibilities that come along. Of course, there's good sides to being in a relationship, settling down, etc. But it's not our time right now, you know? And when our time is, 
it's all written, so it will happen when it happens. But until then, we're just here for a good time. Yeah. Do you know now what I mean? is the time to enjoy your life and do what you want to do and not be dependent on someone else. Because the minute you like get into a relationship, that's like half your time is like dedicated to them. And like if you have kids, your entire time is dedicated to them. So it's like just do things that you want to do. Like you've got, you must have a list of stuff you want to do in life. Do it before you then are like time poor and can't do it, you know? So age, mm -mm, no, Doesn't matter. don't do that. Live your life. Okay, uh, want to get all fit and sexy after a divorce, but also love food too much. How can I have both? Oh, that's for you. Girl, me too, me too. Um, I basically have the same dilemma where I love food, but it's not, the good food, it's like the sugars, the processed food, the fizzy drinks, like all the bad stuff. Like my entire diet was pure sugar for like 28, how long? 29. 29. Okay, so, so let's say, yeah, that's true. Uh, 28 years of my life, my diet was all sugar. And now this year, I got a PT, tried to change it. And I got abs, I got the results I wanted, like I had a good body, but it was all at the expense of having to give up the food I liked you know um and i think there gets to a point in life where you're just like i just want to enjoy it i don't care what i eat um as long as you can kind of maintain a good balance of going to the gym like don't don't go from one extreme to another like how i do like i am solely dedicated to the gym like five to six days a week eat clean banging body but then the minute i have a relapse i'm like not going to the gym and i'm not eating clean i'm just binging like crazy so i think as long as you can maintain a balance like going to the gym three or four times or whatever suits you uh, eating relatively healthy and just not going crazy with the food you can achieve it like i don't believe you have to cut out every single thing because you are then going to crave it and you are then going to binge i think have some small treats um, and slowly your like taste palette starts changing as well like when you start eating clean you don't crave the bad stuff as much um so yeah so I hear you, I really do. Um, yeah, balance. I have no contribution to this whatsoever. I don't know what I'm talking about yeah. either. I say this, but I don't actually do it. <laughs> uh, hair loss advice. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Is that your foot? Hair loss advice? Yeah. Oh. I am not qualified in that area. Um, I need it, so when you find out, let me know because I, I know like loads of people use like different oils and stuff like that but I haven't found one that suits me and also I'm on a crazy course of steroids at the moment and that is making my hair fall out like crazy so I need that advice so if anyone knows of it comment below God. <laughs> um, and let me know because I need to know as well listen we're doing the whole YouTube thing just embody it okay <laughs> um right uh interfering sister-in-law help Ooh. drama Ooh. again we're not qualified for no. this because we've not we've not we're not in that state mm -hmm. or experienced it um and we're we're really bad in the sense where we like are really straightforward yeah like if something bothers us we just say it straight and we don't we don't sugarcoat it. Yeah. So we would say, address the situation. I think, on. yeah. Like also, have you spoken to your husband and seen if he can have a word with her, just maybe because their bond might be better than your bond with her. And therefore, you know, if it comes from someone else, she might be willing to listen. Um, I just don't find lazy people. I think the mature thing to do is just have a conversation, not an argument though, a conversation. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Ditch the flaky friend or carry with the misery. Ditch. Oh, cut, Ditch. cut, cut, straight cut. Honestly, um, we hate flaky people. Yeah. Generally, um, like why, why do they do this? Why do they think that they can give you their word, which is commitment, be like your word is a form of commitment and then just back out. 
Um, flaky people are on like my top list mm. of pet peeves. That and people that can't keep to their timings. Oh, just don't. Uh, I've had to personally cut people out of my life because of that. And um, I have no qualms with their character, with their personality, nothing like that. Like they are very good people, but I'm sorry, those are, that's something I cannot stand is when people flake on you last minute or continuously um, or can't keep to time. Because at the end of the day, everyone these days is time poor. Your time is an investment, you know? And if people are just gonna mistreat it, go back, Bye. you're gone. I don't care for you. I would rather spend my time with people who are present in the moment and make time for me that I'm making time for and equally um, just respect you because it's a form of respect. So, that's to do what you gotta do, get rid. If they don't bring any value to your life, then let that misery go. Thing is, they possibly could bring value, but, but if they're flaking, yeah. it's like, what are you doing with your life? Like, they're not, if they're being flaky, then they're not bringing any value. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you're the one who has to suffer because it doesn't really matter to them anyway. Yeah, so, they couldn't care less, so yeah. why do you? Ah, okay, um, how does one deal with the fact that their first love was actually in Um, is that a someone, yeah, it's a, it's a form of biology, but still. Um, when their first love was basically a douche kebab. Um, aren't they all? All men are trash. All men are like, trash. honestly. Um, I don't know if I believe in this whole first love thing. Do you know that? Yeah. It's like... In what sense though? Like, how do you know that they were your first love? Yeah, because you have you had other people to compare it with? Mm. And like, I don't know. Like, I feel like there is no such thing as first love. There's only and like they... a soulmate. And then aside from that, like, hopefully that's who you end up with, you know, like marrying and living the rest of your life with. But aside from that, it's like, obviously you're in love in the moment, but then clearly not so much because it doesn't work out yeah I don't but know. Like, and if they were uh, yeah then they weren't really your first love then. yeah like they shouldn't qualify no. as that if they're like douchey yeah they shouldn't qualify as that like you should not put that label on them because they mm -hmm. don't deserve it they don't Meh. Um, but you have the rest of your life ahead of you why do i feel like i'm like sinking in and i'm also <laughs> camouflaging on this sofa um you have the rest of your future <coughs> out, and someone's gonna come along when the time is right and show you why it didn't work with that person so don't dwell yeah. over like spilled milk don't don't do that just move on because like in a month's time or a few months time you're then gonna look back and be like i spent so long crying over this douchebag when i really could be out and about and just living life and like doing stuff for me, know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I don't believe in that whole like mm -mm. being upset. Was, nye, 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 nye. Um, right. I can't find a guy on my wavelength. Oh, you hit the nail on the head, mate. I was a struggle. You did. Um, yeah. That is a struggle. Don't you think yeah. in this day and age, um, I like I get told by like my friends and family that I'm like super picky. And I know I'm like a smidge picky, smidge, smidge. Um, but it's just like you know when you vibe with. <laughs> Gavin mm. loves it when use the word vibe. I hate people use the word vibe. But we, we then can come up with an alternative word for vibe. So if you know an alternative word, then what were you saying before vibes came along? <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> Your alternative know. word for vibes. I don't know, but yeah, so basically, <laughs> if you don't vibe, you just don't vibe. Don't gel, you just don't oh gel. Oh my god, maybe it was that! Because it's not connect, because that's like going deep. No, but that's quite similar as well, when you're vibing and connecting. Okay, well, regardless. Oh my god, I feel like I'm getting excited with this. Um, regardless, yeah, if you don't gel, you don't. And in all honesty, I do feel like it's a lot harder to find someone on your wavelength these days. I feel like just people committing these days isn't the same. Like they've got so many options with all these like apps. dating apps yeah. that, you know, like you've got people at your disposal, like they've got girls at their disposal. Are you coming to the side? What are you laughing? <laughs> oh, Henry! <laughs> Sorry, I just in the camera. <laughs> this is going sideways. 
Henry got cramped last night, clearly. <laughs> He's hanging. Bye, Henry. Oh. <laughs> A lot. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I thought you were gonna do a disclaimer about Henry. No. Uh, he's he's our child. He's like six years our old. Child. Well, she took full. Um, let's not even get into that because that's something else. Anyway, commitment. Um, these days people just don't commit. Mm -hmm. Um, there's too much option out there because of the dating apps and everything. So they're just playing the field at the moment, and it's all men are trash. All men are trash. Hashtag all men are trash. Hashtag. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know what to say to you. It is super hard to yeah. find someone on your wavelength. So I think like when you do, definitely try to make it work as best as you can because it's not going to be easy to come by again. Um, don't overthink it either. Mm. Go with the flow mm. and see how it works out. It was really weird not having Henry here. No, don't <laughs> You know when you're like on the tube and you see someone and then like you're never gonna see them or like that in public or but no but she's met him oh well, oh he... we need more details she or he has met them no it's a she oh, is it she yeah Oh, um, okay, shoot. we need more details, okay? Yeah. So if this was your question, DM me. Um, we want to know why you're never going to see them again or yeah. possibly not going to see them. Uh, if you do fancy someone in public and you don't see them again... Then that's, that's a lost cause. Like, that's, we'll sorry. help you there, yeah. mate. And I'm good at stalking as well, so I could potentially, but I just need more details to mm. somehow find that person. Mm. So. Okay. Um, lame, but how does one deal with heartbreak at 23 and learn to move on? Oh, yeah. Girl, you're not heartbroken. Uh -uh. Don't. Don't. Maybe she is, though. I mean, yeah, you are in that moment in time. Yeah. But then, like, in hindsight, hindsight is an amazing thing. Just believe in it. Mm. Um, like I said before, you're going to look back at this time and think, oh, my God, I spent that long crying over them. I spent that long depressed all for what you know you're not gaining anything out of that there's no self-development there so but you learn from it you don't like learn from, from this it. heartbreak you will learn from it and you'll grow as a person so because you're 23 right now you're, you're still so young, young that honestly. you've got all these years ahead of you that when you do get older when you do eventually find someone that's right for you you'll look back on it and you'll think ah oh, I've learned from it. Oh my God, Gavin, wait, hold on. Remember oh. the other day we Googled this because we were like, do you know what? Like, I, I'm, I'm not an emotional person. However, I do say that like, if you're going through like a breakup, etc., feel your emotions, don't suppress them because mm. then you, your like recovery rate's gonna take longer. Do you know what I mean? So like one day you are going to like, the more you repress it, that one day you are just gonna like blow up. Yeah. And it's like it's gonna the recovery time is gonna take longer so don't like don't ignore it feel those feelings let it out and then move on do you know yeah. what i mean but the other day i swear i'm gonna google how many people go through a heartbreak in a day oh, yeah. um because you're not alone like yeah. i know you feel so alone right now but genuinely there's so many other people out there that go through the same thing so you're not alone and you can get through it because everyone's been through it everyone's been in that situation right i'm googling hold on on average there will be at least 531,925 breakups. So you're not alone. Definitely not alone there. Um, you'll get through it, girl. You will get through it. You'll get through it. Live and you learn. Um, right, hold on. Now the second batch of questions. Hmm. Scared I'm not going to get into uni for medicine got this girl you got this okay you will 
Just believe in yourself, study like crazy, bang out the exams, do as best as you can, and then you know you've done it like the best you can. And um, like we had a friend who did a different degree and then did medicine mm -hmm. after that. And no, she did one in between no, as, she well, did didn't a she? as well. She's on fire. She um, is a fire doctor. He's shout kidding. out Dr. Hina Shahid. Dr. Oh, Hina Shahid. <laughs> um, but I think just dedication and commitment, yeah. right? Like regardless, you will get there. Um, and just pray and study and you'll get there. Like hats off to any doctors, any nurses. You're all amazing. We can do your job. We just couldn't. Yeah. Um, so yeah, don't don't stress it. You'll get there. Um, right, so how does a shy girl find a man? Oh, it's really oh. awkward. I don't know. It's like we're not best. To give that advice because I just sit there and snore <laughs> and get clammy hands apparently. Apparently I get really clammy hands. <laughs> what do you do? I don't do anything. We just don't date just to avoid that. <laughs> like we just ignore it. Like we're just cool. We're like our Prince Charming will come to our yeah, flat. We don't like inside our flat when, when when it's time. We don't like to put ourselves in that situation basically. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh why don't you try speed dating? Oh no. I would no. Um, See, we're not giving good advice right now. Yeah, we're not I think good agony odds. A lot of people do say, do something that scares you. Yeah. In dating. But in dating, like, if you're shy, then how are you going to meet yeah, someone? Yeah, I think so like you have to... You have know to that you're advice. shy, you just need to overcome that and be like, right, don't think about it. Don't, like, overthink it, basically. Don't get too much in your head about it and just go for it. What happens will happen. And if it doesn't work out, then oh well, on to the next one. Do you know what I want to do? I want people to send in like really bad date oh, experiences. How fun day. would that be? I think we should do that yeah. next. Anywho, okay, uh, so basically, our advice was what? Whatever I just said. Whatever she just said. So just rewind. <laughs> okay, um, right. S starting, <clears throat> starting speaking to someone. Okay, so um, one of my followers started speaking to someone through a Muslim marriage app. We didn't end up meeting um, due to someone close in his family getting ill, but kept in contact over messages, etc. But don't really speak on the phone. I like him. He seems nice and caring, but haven't met. What should I do? Okay, do you know what? Genuinely, this is so common i have heard this so like so many of my friends like my family have said the same thing to me and i'm sorry we're not looking for pen pals or cyber friends okay if they want to like get into a relationship get to know someone they need to act on it they need to meet you so make that suggestion be like okay look it's been quite some time since we've been talking. I think we need to meet now. Um, but it's just weird, that whole family getting ill. I have heard that so yeah. many times. And I just wonder, is this now becoming like a common F-boy response? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, they just like the attention, but they don't want to see it through. Is that what it is? I don't know. But well, we don't know the backstory. We do It could be a family situation. So give it a couple of weeks, and then if you're still talking, then make the suggestion and say, hey, let's go for a coffee or something, and then see how they respond to that. I also gulp really loud, so I could hope you can hear that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I get a DM me and tell me how long it's been, um, and we'll take it from there. We'll be your personal date connoisseur. Connoisseur. <laughs> Advisors. Advisors, okay? Again, oh my God. we're not qualified for this at all. <laughs> Um, why do guys get your number, talk, then ghost? Girl, honestly. Who knows? Genuinely, all men are trash. And that is literally what we're going to conclude this video with. <laughs> that all men are trash. They're not worth it. It's just weird. I think they're just trying to fill a void or something. Like they're bored, so they want to chit-chat. Either chit -chat. that or they've got options. They've got like, like yeah. filtering through yeah. them. So they want to see who's the best one out of it or the most convenient one i don't know no one knows how the male brain works to be honest so we haven't figured it out no. honestly if we had we'd be like charging for this ish yeah. um right he wants me to move in with his parents after marriage i don't want to help 
Okay, so this is an interesting one because I feel like it really depends on the family mm. themselves because I like, I know there's this whole like stereotype of like mother-in-laws being hard to live with and stuff like that, but they're not all like that. No. Do you know what I mean? They're I mean, not. like I know like from my family, like my aunts and my mum, etc. they'd be like, they would be tolerable to live with and so nice and stuff. So I think like, unless his like parents are like single parents, like a single dad or a single mum, that's completely different because you 100% want to move in and you want to support them because you wouldn't want your own parents alone. Do you know what I mean? But if his parents are quite young, mobile, together, um, I'd say maybe suggest, look, how about a couple of years, like in the first couple of years of marriage, we live on our own separately, uh, close enough, like close proximity to the parents, just because obviously going into a marriage, there's so many things you've got to adjust to um, and so many things that are new that you two are really gonna have to focus on like making your relationship work. Because like, um, you need to be able to live with your husband first and then trying to live with two other people maybe their siblings as well yeah. is going to be a it's a hard. lot to handle yeah. you know and I, I don't think guys actually think about that so like think it through do they they mm. just think oh yeah she's coming into my house it's they totally just another fine. person it's going to be completely normal yeah but it is like a number of new relationships you've then got to build that rapport with you know um but i so i would suggest you know just take him to the side and say look here's my reasons i really want to focus on us we will visit your parents this many times like in my head i always had that when I get married, I want to live on my own with my husband for a couple of years and um, build that really strong relationship with my in-laws. And then actually like when I'm ready to settle down and have kids, mm. I then want to move in with my in-laws because I want my grandchildren, well, my children to have a good relationship with their grandparents. Um, and then like just be around because like obviously his parents will be getting older. So it'll be nice to be around to like help them out. Um, but if he is adamant he wants you to live there, I think it's just a sacrifice you're gonna have to make, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, see if you can have like a like a good open conversation about it um, and give him all of your reasons as to why you feel as if there would be a stronger relationship if you lived separately. Like, um, what would bother you if you do end up living with the parents? Address those issues first and then and then take, take it from, it from there. there see how understanding he is if he's completely adamant he might have his own reasons like there might be stuff you don't know about mm. um and he might open up to you then and then you find out and you're like do you know what actually i don't mind it um so yeah it's a funny one but open combo yeah. uh state all of the reasons why like have your evidence there and then have like just a calm mature conversation about yeah. it um, but don't, don't get caught up in like stereotypes in the sense that oh my god all in-laws are like this or do you know what I mean because I know I know plenty of in-laws that are like actually really really nice um, but yeah okay and then I think we're on our last question which again is so similar to what we've had this entire time um, experience of dating men how to find real men and avoid the trashy ones girl what no, did I, I say? We are concluding <laughs> this YouTube video with all men are trash. You didn't sorry, clap. Sorry. All, all men, men are trash. Repeat it with me. All, all men, men are trash. <laughs> they legit are. I'm just saying. Um. So I don't know. I can't. No. Listen, girls. When you find no. out, let us know. I don't want to say like yeah we are we have been saying like, all men are trash because like, they are be, yeah but hopefully not all of them are like a small percentage we hope let's like put they it out into... it. they fake it and oh, then you yeah. find out they actually are okay. or they previously were they they're just trash just trash I just, I just want to hope for the best to be honest um, what's Corona wipes them out? Oh my God. <laughs> Statistically, oh, men are meant to get it like a little, are more susceptible to it than women. Morbid. Am I not dark. allowed to say no, that? No, no, no. I don't think you should say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> But no, no, I was, I was asking the question, what is oh, that happens? I wasn't oh, okay. saying I hope. Oh, I hope. Oh, okay, okay. As in, you can take the trashy ones if you want. I don't <laughs> mind. I mean, I don't know how many we'll be left with then, but you know. Um, yeah, yeah. We don't really know. Um, oh my gosh, your light turned off. That's rude. <laughs> Uno momento. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, so to finish off, 
If you have any questions for Agony Art that aren't nail related, we can respond to you properly with proper factual answers and evidence. <laughs> I just like to make a point with my heart. Um, but other than that, we'd like to conclude that all men are trash. Have a lovely day, evening. Evening, week, night, night, whatever. Life. Life. Getting deep. Um, life. My, basically, my next video is going to be about the Geneva Motor Show. So I'm not even saying this to get like subscribers, but genuinely, because I haven't, <laughs> because I haven't figured out like when it's going to be like how frequent my videos are going to be. What the vibe is going to be. I know yeah. what the vibe is going to be. Know what vibe I is am be. a goddamn vibe. Anyway, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I know. Um, what was I saying to you? Subscribe below, and that way you'll know when my next video is. Hit the like out. button. I don't like, yeah, you do that too. Um, like but yeah, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and yeah, just. Drink your water, guys. Stay Drink your water. Kids. Stay hydrated. Don't be thirsty. Do not be thirsty. And live your life. Live your best life. Bye. Bye. Bye.